Well, the party is on in Springfield tonight at an inauguration celebration for Governor Pritzker. The party caps off a day that marks the start of his second term in office. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley has the latest from Springfield. Ray and Dina, good evening. This is the place to be tonight. All you have to do is scan the QR code on your ticket and they'll let you inside. There's food and drinks. Lots of Democrats here, some Republicans, all to celebrate Governor J.B. Pritzker's second inauguration. Tonight, the party's on at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. Thank How good of a party does J.B. Pritzker throw? I don't know. We'll find out. Billionaire J.B. Pritzker is celebrating his second four-year term as governor. Before official Springfield hit the dance floor, the day began at church. Governor Pritzker and Lieutenant Governor Juliana Stratton hit up service. Congratulations, Governor. Thank you very much. Their second term kicked off after the swearing-in ceremony during the middle of the day. During his inaugural remarks, Pritzker shed light on his agenda. I come to you with an agenda as ambitious and bold as our people are, thinking not only about the next four years, but about the next 40. Without getting into specifics, the governor promoted preschool for every child, making college more affordable, health care more widespread, and permanent tax relief. The governor also demanded immediate action to address gun violence. I'm tired of living in a world where a mass shooting needs a title so that you know which one we're referring to. Now, I'm a firm believer that government functions best when we look for compromise. But I'm done with the NRA having its way when it comes to mass shootings. As Democrats work to pass legislation expanding the medical professionals who can perform abortions, Pritzker promised to keep the issue front and center. The right to privacy and bodily autonomy demand that we establish a constitutional protection for reproductive rights in Illinois. The extremists still want to take away a woman's right to choose, and I don't intend to let them. Pritzker made no mention of speculation he might run for president in 2024, but the governor touched on the rising divisions and hate in America. Old evils will always find new haters to bring them back to life. Yesterday's Father Coughlin becomes today's Tucker Carlson. In addition to Pritzker and Stratton, Comptroller Susana Mendoza, Treasurer Michael Frerichs, and new Secretary of State Alexei Janulius were also sworn in. I certainly hate to be the party pooper, but both the House and Senate are in tomorrow. Lawmakers have their inaugural celebration on Wednesday. We're going to go back inside now. Back to you, Ray and Dina.